SEO Summit continues. Politics has erupted over photo op. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the other world leaders were seen aligned, standing in line and a photograph there that's now used by the Congress party slamming Prime Minister Narendra Modi asking why is India has been relegated to one end of the corner. BJP hits back with Rahul Gandhi's pictures. BJP says politics over protocol decided by host nation is immature. Playing politics over protocols decided by the host nation is immature, says the BJP. The Congress asking, why is India right towards the end of the uh, table? In fact, as the picture shows, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is on one end. And on the other end of that photograph is Pakistan Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif. So the Congress asking, why is India being equated with Pakistan? On one, on one end of that photograph is Prime Minister Narendra Modi. On the other end is Shahbaz Sharif. So Congress saying this, is, uh, this should have been discussed with the host earlier and decided India is a superpower, growing to be a superpower, it should have been better placed. Shehzad Punawala of the BJP, though, joining us on the phone line. Shehzad, the Congress now erupting in politics, their uh, take on this photograph showing Prime Minister Modi on one end of that uh, picture. How would you look at it? What would be your response to them? You know, frankly, uh, Nabila, it doesn't deserve uh, an argument so, so intellectually bankrupt, doesn't deserve a response. But I wish they would watch India today and they would watch a very competent uh, reporter, Geeta Mohan, and what she has said about this entire protocol issue. India is a new entrant to this grouping, and there are founding members of this grouping, and there's a host nation. Perhaps these things go beyond the remit of a person whose only genuflection happens to a parivar, and therefore, I have also posted a couple of pictures. One is Rahul Gandhi signing the MOU with the Chinese, and the other him is uh, with him eating Chinese food with the Dokla during the Dokla crisis. The Chinese ambassador, maybe Gaurav Gogoi, should ask his mighty leaders why they were signing these MOUs. Why did they give up Aksai Chin of 37,000 square kilometers? Why did they give up Tia Pannak, Doom Chelly? Why did they give up Chabji Ghati? Perhaps they could even ask a question or two about how they took money into the RGF from the Chinese while surrendering India's economic rights where a trade deficit increased 33 times. Well, don't expect somebody whose intellectual bankruptcy is reduced to tweeting a picture about a protocol issue decided by a host nation to actually ask these questions of his own leaders. Perhaps politics should be avoided at a time when India is being represented in such a magnificent way, whether it is this summit or whether it is the earlier summits, the G7, the G20, the Quad summits, this, these are places where India speaks in one voice. It's not about Congress or BJP, but that's too much for us to expect of a party, which is essentially a special purpose vehicle of a Pariva. Hmm. You know, uh, as we see the politics has erupted, we're also hoping that there could be some uh, interaction when it comes to uh, national security and friction with China. As we saw the optics of it, Prime Minister Narendra Modi did not shake hands with Chinese President Xi Jinping. Yes, very willingly stood for a photograph alongside Xi Jinping, but no handshake. What, what does that signal, Shahzad? You know, uh, I would rather not sit into the commentary of what something does or does not signal. I think there are many more strategic experts who can uh, take out the signals from whatever they've seen. But I think that at a multilateral platform like the SEO, we are going forward to secure our regional security interests, our trade interests, and most importantly, our energy security interests. And those are being done in a manner that is most befitting for the size of a nation of India's stature. So I think the Indian interests are now being put ahead rather than paribaric interests, and that is visible from any dimension or any place that you look at it. Shrizat, thank you very much for joining us. Now, as we see, politics has erupted over the photo op at the SCO summit. In fact, the Congress MP, Gaurav Gogoi, has questioned Prime Minister Modi's positioning in this group photograph at the SCO summit, calling it a poor show at SCO. Congress MP has questioned why India was placed at the extreme end. He said that India is balanced by Pakistan on the other end. This is what the Congress leader had to say, Gaurav Gogoi, as he hits out at the BJP, saying Prime Minister Modi should have, or his team, should have coordinated with the host nation prior and decided a better placing for India. You see, at such multilateral events, the position and strength of India needs to be on full display. That has not happened uh, in the run-up to the Shanghai Cooperation Summit. For China has skillfully negotiated with India, in which now we are losing access to areas where the Indian Army used to patrol earlier. 
and and at this photo op summit it clearly shows what the host organizers of the event are try, uh, their pri- personal view of india is by putting india at the op- at the right uh, left end and on the extreme right end putting pakistan as if to equate uh, india pakistan india is much stronger as a nation and far more economically developed we are, our indian army has withdrawn from those areas where it used to patrol i think it shows a very weakened india hand and the prime minister and his government was known to say that they will show a lal aank i am not seeing a lal aank i am seeing a band aank i am seeing a closed eye Let me go across to Geeta Mohan joining us live for more on that. Geeta is right there where the summit is taking place. Geeta, uh, you know the Congress party there uh, indulging in politics asking why Prime Minister Modi has been relegated to one end of the picture on the other balanced by Pakistan Shahbaz Sharif. Uh, what do you tell us? He, 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 he claims this to be protocol. What, what really is the protocol? Do clarify. Well, uh, well, the protocol officers and the coordinators in Uzbekistan uh, have to follow what has been uh, the precedent in many ways than one. Although we do not have an official word on why uh, the placement in the manner in which it was done, uh, but uh, one can logically conclude that the newest members are placed at the fag end or the, uh, or the extreme end of a group photo. Uh, the presidency uh, holds the center, holds center stage. Next year, Nabila, India is going to be president. India will assume presidency, and Modi will be at the center of the group photo. What will the opposition then say that India has become more important than Russia and China? Uh, that certainly is not the case. The president always is at the center. Russia and China, important countries who conceptualized and were part of founding uh, the, uh, the the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, and from there on, you'd see countries that uh, that were founding members. and for, and and further down uh, countries that joined later india and uh, pakistan are the newest members and so in all probability the reason why they place at the extreme end when iran joins you see iran jo- uh, joined the group photo on uh, the uh, after india or pakistan on either side uh, that certainly looks like a logical explanation but uh, the stature or status of a country cannot be decided on uh, the positioning of their uh, 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 of them at the uh, in in a photo op where the countries have joined late in the grouping uh, nabila they're not founding members it's russia and china who focused on the centrality of central asia and is the reason why they always take uh, space uh, beside the president uh, next year we might see modi uh, being flanked by russia on one side and china on the other and then the debate will change to uh, what the position of uh, india and prime minister modi really is so uh, right now let's just leave it at the realm of controversy a political controversy to so to say uh, when it comes to diplomacy and engagements over here restricted dialogue getting over it was supposed to get over at 11:40 we do not have a confirmation whether it's, it is over or not yet but 11:40 is when the 1 plus 5 dialogue that's the delegation level talks uh, uh, were to begin so in all probability now we're seeing the next stage of the sco format of talks which is the 1 plus 5 where foreign minister jay shankar as also foreign secretary Vinay Quatra and other officials are going to join in the SCO delegation and the SCO talks.